Hey everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you yeah. happen to be watching this movie. This movie, it is what am I saying? Saturday. <laughs> Welcome this to a special video. edition of a Saturday Real Pastors. Yes, and we are excited to be on here, and uh, you know we wanted to get this out yesterday to you guys, but of course, as always, life got in the way. But mm -hmm. when we're committed, we're doing this on a little bit of a time crunch, but on a Saturday, and uh, a, a new segment that we're going to be doing called Real Debates. Yeah. And well, we're Gary and I, you know, a lot of times, if you've seen probably our rapid reviews, a lot of times we tend to agree, but there are times we disagree. And yeah. don't worry, we're still friends, but we also we won't hold back. Yeah, we are. We are friends, and, and believe it or not, we do have some disagreements on some things. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to introduce you to one of the few, but the first disagreement that we have. Real mm -hmm. debates. Yeah, so glad you're here with us. And the first real debate, of course, maybe it won't come as any surprise to anyone that this one is the one we're doing first. But the thing is, we're doing this one because we wanted to start off easy. This is our first one. Mm -hmm. So we want to start off with an easier topic to get us in the role of things. And then we'll dig into something, you know, uh, a little bit deeper. And, but first and foremost, what's coming up is best live action Batman. And this is what we're going to be debating. We do disagree on this. And mm -hmm. um, you're going to hear both of our views. But just remember, this is live action only. Live because action. when it comes down to it, Kevin Conroy, if you're going to put all Batmans all together in the same category, I think, Gary, you and I agree, Kevin Conroy is the goat of Batman. Yeah, if there's no dividing factor of live action, animated, voice, mm -hmm. actual person... You know, yeah, he's he's either at the top or close to the top or one A, one B, but yeah. Animated, yeah, there's no discussion. Um, but we're looking at live action and yeah. we're looking at these gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, I did it the wrong way. These gentlemen right here. This is who we're looking at. Adam West, Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, Christian Bale, and Sir Ben Affleck. I don't know if he actually is a sir, but that's how I ended He's it. a sir to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so, so this is who we're talking about here. And so out of these um, this is the one we're going to be talking about. Now, if you went through our Batman filmography, you know, we talked about each of these, for exception of Batfleck, but uh, maybe we'll get some of that today. I don't know. We'll see what Gary has to say. But, um, you know, we went through the highs, the lows, what these guys brought to the table. And uh, so if you want to check out a little bit more in depth, go check those videos out. But today we're just going to be debating who we think the GOAT is. And I think to start us off, we should just state who we say the GOAT is and then... Uh, We'll go from there. Does that sound good to you, Gary? Sounds good. All right. So I'll go first since I started this whole mess. Um, to me, when I look at this across the board, Michael Keaton's the man. Michael Keaton is the goat of Batman for me. Um, you know, maybe maybe there's a little bit of nostalgia there. Or maybe it's a little bit of, uh, you know, he's the first one who did a real serious Batman. But for me, he's the goat. We'll dig into it more later. Gary, who's your man? Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Oh, that does surprise me. Christian that Bale. does I, surprise me. I, I told you before we went live, I was going to surprise you today, and I'm probably mm -hmm. surprising a lot of our viewers because of the man crush I have on Ben Affleck and mm -hmm. him as Batman. However, um, Christian Bale, he's my guy when it comes to Batman. He is the best Batman. All right. Hey, listen, I'm surprised. I will say I'm very surprised. I thought you were going to go Batfleck mm -hmm. um, because of what he brought to the table. And I'll be honest. I say so either way we would have disagreed, which is fine mm -hmm. because I was I was teetering between Keaton and Batfleck. Those are my those are my top two. So um, so it sounds like Batfleck's ended both of ours top two. So there's that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's an agreement there. But um, so go ahead and make your case, sir. Why okay. are you calling for Christian Bale? Because I'm surprised and I need to hear this. So the the question is, who do I think is the best Batman? Mm -hmm. Not who my favorite is. Fair. That's another question. I've stated on this show many times that my favorite on-screen version of Batman is Ben Affleck's portrayal. Um, however, his portrayal, in my opinion, as great as it is, is incomplete, sadly, because he okay. does not have that standalone Batman movie where mm -hmm. he is Bruce Wayne for 90 minutes to two hours and Batman through the same run. He never got that. So, therefore, I feel like he can't be in the conversation of best. Okay. You may disagree with me on that. I, I hate that that's the case because I'd love to see his movie. So I can't, he's my favorite, but he can't be the best in my opinion. Right. Christian Bale, after, you know, I watch the Dark Knight trilogy once a year. Mm -hmm. And this past year, sorry, hit my microphone. I made the decision. Let's watch it, not from a Batman perspective, but from a Bruce Wayne perspective and try to get a different viewing of the character of Bruce Wayne. 
Mm-hmm. Um, because honestly, I always watch it through the Batman stuff. But this time I watched it and I gained a better appreciation of how Christian Bale portrayed Bruce Wayne, uh, especially in Batman Begins and and through the beginning of Dark Knight. And I feel like he captures the brokenness of Bruce Wayne. He captures mm-hmm. the mostly the detectiveness. Um, there's, I wish there a little bit more of that of, of Batman and just the darkness and the broodness of this character. I feel like he captures it perfectly mm-hmm. and in three pretty do- doggone perfect movies you can mm-hmm. nitpick the first first and third one a little bit um but it is in my opinion up there with the best trilogies of all time and so yeah i'm gonna stop there for now that's where mm-hmm. you know from the look the darkness the broodness and the eyes that christian bell brings to mm-hmm. the table as ben Aff- uh, ben affleck uh, <laughs> he's always on the uh, <laughs> yeah, Bruce Wayne and batman yeah all right so I hear you. And, uh, and I know for me, when I was continuing to think about this with Michael Keaton, um, it, it, to me, I think that, again, I, I will be honest. I think there's a little bit of nostalgia factor there because he is the mm-hmm. he is my first Batman. Yes. Yeah, um, yep. So like so I think there's a little bit of that there. Like there, I have a little bit more fondness for him. But as I like go back and watch again, his first two films, because he only got two. And we talked about that and the sadness of that. But he only got two. And the thing is with him is I felt like much like. Probably another debate we'll have down the road about the best Spider-Man, and we'll leave that for another day. Mm -hmm. But with Batman, uh, to me, it's very important when we're looking at these superheroes that that these that these actors are able to actually portray both characters the best. And that's how, like, I just looked at it. I'm like, all right, is this person a believable Batman and a believable Bruce Wayne, and are they able to play both characters because they are very different characters? And like, and from like. So, for instance, like the Adam West, you know, version of Batman, right? Like that one, he was kind of Batman the whole time. Um, I kind of felt this way with the others. It was like they didn't do a good job of being Bruce Wayne and Batman. I felt like there was this, like, like I'll pick on Ben Affleck. Like, I won't necessarily pick on Christian Bale. Like Ben Affleck, it was like, he was an amazing Batman. But even when he was Bruce Wayne, he was still Batman. Like when he was himself. And that's, so that was a thing for me. It's like when I felt, I felt like Michael Keaton looked a lot more and I know we talked about animated series because animated series, of course, did this great where you felt like there was these two different characters on screen. Mm-hmm. And so with Michael Keaton, that's why I thought it was great because it was he had this kind of goofy fun, you know, the playboy aspect, like really, really great job of Bruce Wayne. But then when he switched to Batman, he was Batman. And I know and I was like thinking for me, like in uh, the be- uh, I think it was the beginning of Batman Returns, where he's mm-hmm. sitting there, you know, at his computer, you know, he's doing his thing. And then the light goes off. He looks up, he stands up and he can. T- it's like almost you one can of my see- favorite shots. Yeah. Yes. You can see him mm-hmm. mentally transition now on Batman. Yeah. And so and that's why for me, he he's the goat. Yeah. Well, he's sitting. Mean, correct you there. He's sitting there in the dark waiting. Oh, that's right. In the dark. I thought I it too much. Right. Know, there's no. Yeah. Um, I thought it was in front of a computer, but you're right. He's in the dark yeah. waiting. Valid point. Valid point. Um, can I? Are we rebuttaling now? Can I? Oh can yeah, I rebuttal. Go ahead. Um, I see what you're saying, and I love Michael Keaton. He is my favorite actor of all time. He is. Mm-hmm. I've stated that on the show as well, and I have that nostalgia factor absolutely as well. However, I don't think he got enough screen time as Bruce Wayne in those two movies. Mm. I think uh, it was it was he a, a a good Bruce Wayne? Yeah, but I don't think that. Um, I mean that those movies are about Batman, Joker, Penguin, Catwoman, and a little bit of mm-hmm. Christopher Walken. And the, the <laughs> you know, got better fish to fry. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. uh, but the, so I think in my it is my opinion you can't. He he just does. He's not Bruce Wayne a lot in those movies. The, the most Bruce Wayne we get is him looking at a computer or walking down an alley, and you know, um, and and so where Christian Bale, he's Bruce Wayne majority of those three movies mm-hmm. um you know I, I take you back to after rachel dies spoiler alert and and the dark knight he's sitting mm-hmm. there and he's just so broken and he says you know she was gonna rape for me alfred and i i let that murder and psychopath blow her half to hell mm-hmm. you know or blow him half to hell talking about harvey yeah. you know he's just he captures that bruce wayne and then you know the the scene where he walks into his penthouse when he's still in the fundraiser for harvey dent and he's mm-hmm. coming in on a helicopter i mean that is straight out of animated series right there mm-hmm. you know yeah. um uh we'll put the tables together i own the place you know i'm changing stuff to the pool area you know driving the lamborghini you know and mm-hmm. he captures it so well that 
a lot of people disagree with what I'm about to say, but it's a shock to someone like Commissioner Gordon at the end of Dark Knight Rises when he was like, oh, I didn't even think that was Bruce Wayne. Which, you know, okay, a little bit of a, uh, uh, what do you call it there? Um, but, you know, Suspending I just disbelief. He got, he got more screen time as Bruce Wayne, and because of that, I think he deserves the title of mm -hmm. Go to Pats. Right. And see, and I think that's why for me is like through Across the Three, where he got so much Bruce Wayne, he was a believable Bruce Wayne, but I always had that issue believing he, he could pull off a good Batman. Okay. Like, and okay. so like, and I think that's where, that's where that flip happened for me because yeah, yes, you're hundred percent right. Michael King got way less screen time as Bruce Wayne, but I guess where it felt balanced, I was able to actually see both sides of it. Like it felt balanced enough for me to where I could okay. see both sides to where like with Christian Bale. Yeah. I mean, he, like, I remember talking with other friends um, when these movies came out before I met you and mm -hmm. um, like a most, like most of us are, our, our only complaint really was mm -hmm. there wasn't enough Batman in this Batman movie. You know, like we, we kind of we kind of felt like uh, um, Ian Malcolm. There are going to be dinosaurs on, on this dinosaur tour, <laughs> right? Like that's how we kind of felt watching these movies, as great as yeah. they were. Yeah. Yeah. Like we we loved them, and the Batman mm -hmm. parts were great. The the Bruce mm -hmm. Wayne, the story, all that. Like I mean, you you know how I feel. I, it's it's probably uh, for me one top three because I go between Lord of the Rings, Planet of the Apes, and that. yeah, like those are the top three trilogies of all time mm -hmm. for me. Um, so I I love them completely. Uh, but I just felt that like when he would like the time he had as Batman and even then sometimes it was a little like it was it was a little like man I just I'm having a little bit of a hard time believing he can actually be Batman like Bruce Wayne 100 percent but mm -hmm. being Batman I had like I had a little bit of issue with him because it was like like he ha I mean he did have all those wonderful toys right he did. um and and, and I think came in black yeah and everything and everything came in black but it just it just kind of felt like now, granted, Michael Keaton didn't do this good job either, but like the fighting and stuff, it just felt like, it felt to me like he got beat up way more as Batman than Batman should. And I don't know if that's Especially on the Dark Knight him. Rises. Yeah. And I don't know if that's really on him, um, per se, as, as writing, but it's just kind of the way they, they portrayed it. And it just, and that's what helped me, like, it just didn't seem balanced enough to where I could see both characters, even though, and maybe this is part of two, I was expecting that. Because of the end of Batman Begins, when Rachel's like, no, this is, this is your mask, talking about mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. And then so I was like, okay, this is really going to take us to a place where we're going to see this almost like split personality thing. And I feel like we didn't really see that as much. Gotcha. Because, because I think of like the Batman, like the psychology of Batman. I mean, dude's got some <laughs> serious issues, probably split personality issues, you know, oh, yeah. things like that. If you want to see that portrayed perfectly, go watch Mask of the Phantasm. Yes. Perfectly. Um, and, you know, I think the way you feel that way, and I hear you, I do, is because the way that the trilogy wraps up and the way The Dark Knight Rises, which I love that movie, goes on, it really feels like there is a missing movie in mm -hmm. between The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. I think originally, I don't know, I've heard a few times that it was supposed to be part one, part two, and maybe that's why we feel that way because you do every time you watch that trilogy, and maybe it's brilliant that Nolan and Warner Brothers did it this way. It's like because you, you're left wanting more, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just like, well, maybe there, there should have been that, you know, mm -hmm. there's, there's like a missing bridge between the stuff, you know, but I hear what yeah. you're saying on there. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it gets difficult because I, because it does, it feels like there's something missing either, either in between two and three or like a fourth one after to kind of wrap up the full thing. Mm -hmm. It does feel missing, but then at the same time, Michael Keaton's missing a movie too. Yeah. So it's like, so you kind of have that. I mean, that kind of levels the playing field a little bit um, mm -hmm. because, because again, like you could tell, like, you could tell at the end of Batman Returns there was going to be another Batman. Oh yeah, with Michael Keaton, like you can tell. And then, um, and then I watched the documentary and stuff about it and how all that went down. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a little bit of that. Um, and so it's like, and I guess that's the thing is like where Christopher Nolan and Christian Bale did such a great job portraying, you know, the the depths of uh, Bruce Wayne mm -hmm. and everything that he went through and his psychology. Um, and things like that. Like I, I felt that Michael Keaton did a decent job with Bruce Wayne. Like I could believe he was Bruce Wayne, but then with Batman side of things, like his struggle, like being Batman, you know, cause, cause of course with him, he like, he, he's, he kills off the Joker and then, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Penguin dies and like he deals with a lot of stuff. And then his struggle, even with like Selena Kyle, which everyone kind of does that. We saw that a little bit in the dark Knight rises, mm -hmm. um, which I will give 
that Catwoman storyline I thought was going to be trash, and it was way better oh, yeah. than, I ex- than I expected. I will give it that. Anne Hathaway, terrific. Yeah, which yeah. I thought wasn't going to work, and it worked. Uh, and I like the way they ended it and stuff. Um, but it, but it's it's one of those, like, it, I think we talked about this before. It's like, if it wasn't for the way Michael Keaton was able to take the serious tone and the way he was able to balance well both sides of it, I don't think you get a Christian Bale. You know, I don't think you get to that to that point. So it's almost like a little bit of that of like we needed Michael Keaton to get Christian Bale. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if we ever would have would have would have got there. So for me it's kinda like that that's what puts you sets you apart for like a goat conversation. We needed Michael Keaton to start it off well. We needed uh Joel Schumacher and George Clooney <laughs> to ruin it. And yeah. then Christian Nolan to bring it back to rise from the ashes. Yes. Know? So, as it needed to, as it needed to be, because man, yeah, Whew, it was bad. So, well, hopefully, um, maybe a year from now, six months from now, we'll be sitting here mm-hmm. and we'll be trying to figure out where we can add Sir Pattinson, Robert Pattinson, into this conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see, because we got another Batman coming up. We'll see how he does, yep. and maybe with Flashpoint, maybe we'll see that Michael Keaton third Batman movie one day. Um, yeah, maybe. You know, maybe this will usher that in. So. Yeah, and we'll see what he'll bring to the table. And honestly, this all might change. I know we're going to have to do a video later, mm-hmm. you know, when once you know, the Batman comes out with Battingson. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we we'll probably have to do another video, whether we debate mm-hmm. or we rank or whatever. You know, it'll probably be a little bit of both. We're going to have to do another video because that's coming and those trailers look amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see. But what we would love for you guys to do is let us know your thoughts. You, what do you, you guys think? Stand? I think? Yep. Throw in the comments where you stand. And yep. Tell me why I'm right. No, tell me why I'm right. Tell him why he's a little bit off base. That's what needs to happen. <laughs> so let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear it in the comics. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like so we know what kind of videos you like to see. Please, the YouTube gods, turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos because we are committing this thing. We're moving forward and uh, we're excited to be here. And we would love for you guys to come along this journey with us. All right. All right. We'll Good see job, you homie. next time. Peace out. Michael Keaton's the best. You guys uh, know it. There's a male. I'll learn how to get back. My voice cracked. Yeah. See you guys. See ya.